In this video we're going to show you how to create a work instruction completely from scratch. Uh, you'll still use one of our basic templates but you're going to blow it away and just use this, the structure that's created here. So what I'm going to do is come up here and I'm going to click on my uh, file. I'm going to go to my options. I'm going to go to my settings. And here's my different options here. So I'm going to add a new one here. And this is going to be my ACSB, my breakdown sheet. Uh, maybe I want to use the uh, the breakdown format I have, have here. This is your breakdown sheet here. I'm going to give it a name, so I'll call it ACS Breakdown. OK, and then I click on the OK. And it makes a copy of this and calls it ACSB up here. Now your prefix is going to be one to five characters. And uh, but let's say you're looking at this and you want to start completely from scratch. So you might come in here and just delete everything. Okay, so now those are completely empty. You can do anything you want here. Now remember the format that we described. You can put any number of rows at the top can be customized for your own needs. So let's say your design is going to go from column A to R here. Hit the right button. And I'm just going to make my format cells here. And I'm going to um, set it up as being, uh, let's see, I'm just going to merge them all together here. Right now, just as an example here. So I'm going to center it here, center it here. And I'm going to uh, wrap my text and merge the cells. Okay. So and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make it. Maybe I'm going to make that uh, yellow here. So you can put anything you want up here. So obviously you have different fields and formats and so forth. And I'm just going to say anything you want in the top area. Any number of rows. Right, and we'll put that in here. It's going to be centered there. Maybe we decide to maybe increase the font size to maybe like 24, make it bold so it really stands out here. Right, so we do that here, 24, and make it bold. Okay, so we've got that here. Now, any number of columns on the left you can customize for your own needs. This could be an area coming down here. So let's say you've got other data you want to put in here. So I'm going to hit the right button here. I'm going to format these cells. Do the same. I'm going to wrap them. I'm going to center it here and center it here. This could be anything again, right? Anything you like goes in here. And um, you know what I'll do is put the text, uh, let's say we want to make it, uh, we want to turn the text 90 degrees so we can read it up and down. Maybe go like this, okay? So in here we're going to change the format again. We're going to make that perhaps uh, light blue here. And the text in there we're going to say any number of columns on the left. Okay, so we have a basic design that we have going here. I'll just format this and maybe make it 24 and make it bold. Okay, so we have this is our design here now. So now the thing is, if I make shrink this down here, let's say I zoom in to let's say 50%, uh, so you can see what I'm doing here. So you got this area, and the data that we're going to put in is going to go in here. This is where you get pictures and everything's going to go to be. So you can put anything you like here. At the, at the top and the left. One thing you don't want to do is you don't want to leave any uh, cells protruding into this. Uh, we see that quite often if you inadvertently merge some cells, maybe you end up sticking into this area here. This is going to be a conflict here with the area we have right here. So you want to make sure that everything is tight here and you're not uh, overlapping into the area we're going to be working in here. So this is what you have here and that's what it's going to look like. So now we want to basically identify our different uh, items here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it uh, full size again. Come up to the top here. And let's say we want to put the description in here. So obviously you're laying all this information out. So maybe we put a title in here and we'll say it's a description. Um, and we'll say the next one over is going to be value added, non value added, and then there's going to be time. And then there's going to be a video link. Right, and then we're going to have maybe tools, uh, safety notes, oops, safety notes, okay, and we're going to make this look nice here. So we're going to format this data here. So we come in here and we're going to uh, go to the format here and we'll pick a nice professional looking color here and we'll make this perhaps white and we'll make it bold and uh, then we're going to center them perhaps, uh, center these all over here and click here. So here's our data here. Now we can lay it, lay it a little bit better here. Right, so remember anything you want you can put in here. These could be big fields here for data here 
and the safety notes will be out here. Okay, so you see the kind of format that we have here. So now we've got our basic layout. So we've drawn on here what we want our work instructions to look like here. Then what you do is you find a cell and you double click on it under the description here. And this is the data that we can automatically insert from Timer Pro. So obviously I'm using everything we've got here. I say data description. Then I'm going to have my value added. And then I'm going to have my time here. And then I'm going to have my video link here. All right. Now you can write uh, formulas and so forth in here, but this is just basically laying out where the data is going to be dropped here. And then of course we save it. This is a critical action because what this is going to do is going to create the corresponding CFG configuration file that goes along with the ACSB instructions config XLSM. So when I do a save here, it's actually created that file. I can then exit. If I go to the behind the scenes here, I can show you what's actually happened here. And here you can see my ACSB. Uh, instructions config that's the one that's creating we did the save and the instructions config is right here so now we've got our design here that we're ready to work with and now we're ready to go in here and, uh, and and use it here so i'm just going to save it here and i'm going to file close right and i'm going to see i'm done here close out of this and now i'm going to bring up one of the processes i have on file here so let me open a file here and let me find something here with a little more interest in it. Might have some videos and so forth in here. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go look for my um, Timer Pro. And we're going to maybe pick up one of these work instructions. So let's say I pick one of the, let's see, version 1 here. It doesn't make it that. Version 6 will pick. Okay, click on that. Give it a couple of seconds. Brings it up. Now we're ready to create our work instructions. So we go to the summary. We go to our work instructions. We've got all the different formats here that we're working with. Here's my ACS breakdown sheet, the one I just created here. I click on it, and I click on the OK. And then I'm going to call this my ACS breakdown 1. All right, and I just click on the Open here, and then click on the OK. I'm just going to start building it, dropping it into the design that we just put together here. See what it's done here. Each of the operations has the data coming from the uh, the Yamazumi chart or the balance chart has now been placed into the one that we just designed here. So you can see if you customize this to your own particular needs, everything here would be exactly what you were looking for here. We'll talk a little bit more about some of the carry forward data you have going on in here and maybe some of the, uh, the video options you have here that you might want to uh, fill out and put in pictures and so forth in here in the next videos.